remember the last time I have sat down and actually filmed a video where I'm just talking it has been a hot minute since I have done this and I am going to go ahead and warn you that I'm going to be really awkward because that always happens when I take a hiatus from filming I'm a busy working woman and I'm preparing for my trip back to Atlanta which is in a week now I leave literally in one week to go back and see my lovely, lovely friends. <laughs> so I spent a majority of last night just laying in bed, trying to go to sleep, but I had all these thoughts going through my head, like, Courtney, what are you gonna film tomorrow? Technically, I was supposed to film yesterday because today is Thursday and my videos normally go up on Thursdays. As Hannah Montana said, nobody is perfect. I gotta work it. Again and again till I get it right. So based on the title of this video, you already know what we're gonna be doing today, but I'm gonna go ahead and announce it anyway because I wouldn't be a proper YouTuber if I didn't just reiterate my titles in my videos. Today's video is reasons why I was a fucked up kid. So I've compiled a short list of just, you know, like key points as to why I was just mentally not always there as a child and still not in adulthood to this day. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into this. And the first story is the time that I went to a petting zoo on a school field trip and I got bit by a donkey. And the first thing that popped in my head was that I was gonna turn into one at the stroke of midnight. Like what child thinks of that? I, I don't know. So the story is pretty self-explanatory. I went on a field trip. I'm pretty sure I was in first grade. My Mimi went with me and we went to like, a petting zoo and I remember that there was like a little donkey and goat and llama and alpaca like pin and I really just I wanted to go touch the donkey so I remember walking my chubby little ass over to this donkey and just being like oh it's so cute and then my first grade teacher being like Courtney do you want to feed the donkey and I remember my little like six-year-old heart exploded yes I want to feed the donkey so I used to ride horses a lot and they always tell you when you're feeding horses or any animal like that to always hold your palm like this like concaved or convex is it concave or convex Okay, this is convex because it's curving outward. Curving inward would be concave. I guess that makes sense. Always have your hand convex and you know, you can feed the donkey and they'll just nibble it out of the palm of your hand. Well, I did as I was told, I had my hand like this. I had the little pellets and they were of course just rolling everywhere because your hand is like this and they, they can't sit in your hand. So I just got pellets going everywhere and I'm feeding this donkey and he was just like, no, 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 no. And it was so cute. Like he wasn't biting my hand. He wasn't even close to biting my hand. And I was just like, he's so cute. And I was like petting him and feeding him. And it was so much magic was happening in this very moment. And then I remember like feeding him and then turning to look over at my Mimi and be like, look, I'm feeding a donkey. The very moment was when the donkey attacked. Now I know it's hard to believe that I was ever a small child because I am such a large human, but I was a very small child at one point and that meant that I had tiny hands and tiny little arms, which again, I know it's hard to believe, but this donkey did not just take like my finger in. He took all the way up to, I'm gonna say here on my wrist. And it was honestly the most terrifying moment of my entire life. I started screaming and I was just like trying to get my hand out and he wasn't biting me at this point. It was just kind of like my hand was just sucked into his mouth. But yeah, so as I'm like trying to pull my hand out, this by this point, my teacher had come over, my Mimi was over there, like a bunch of the students in my class were over there and like my teacher started hitting the donkey on the side of the head to try to get it to just let go of me. And he like let go. And as I'm pulling my hand out, he closes his hand again on my pinky and just bites right into my pinky, like the tip of it, just. Jeez. And I remember there being like a divot in my pinky nail and it hurt so bad, it was so red and it like swelled up and it was, Ah, it was just a terrifying experience. But they gave me an ice pack and I went on my merry way. I enjoyed the rest of my field trip. I really didn't think much about it until I got home that night and I was going to bed. I was laying in my bed and I was just, I was just trying to go to sleep. My mind was wandering, you know, as it always does. For some odd reason, the first thought to just go into my head was, Courtney, you got bit by a donkey today. At the stroke of midnight, you're gonna turn into a donkey. And that thought alone just 
terrified me. But yeah, so that's pretty much the end of that story. I thought I was going to turn into a donkey if I got bit by one. Yep. All right, the next reason why I was a fucked up kid was that my parents always set me up for failure <laughs> as a child. And it's not like a terrible way, like they would just like do terrible things to me and therefore I was gonna become a very just not good adult. But they did tell me things that weren't entirely true. And this is gonna go on into another story too, but we're gonna focus on this one right now. Growing up, I was always told that tennis shoes were pronounced tinny shoes. Not T-E-N-N-I-S, but T-E-N-N-I-E. -N -N tinny shoes. I always heard my parents calling them tinny shoes. So my entire life, I thought that tennis shoes were pronounced tinny shoes. I don't know if that's like a Southern thing. I don't know if it was just the way that they were raised. I, I don't know, but I, I always said tinny shoes. Now reason why this messed me up in the head as a child going on into my teenage and young adult years was that no one told me that this was the wrong pronunciation of tennis shoes until I was at least almost a senior in high school. I'm gonna say like summer before, senior year, junior, I don't know. But it was very later in life till someone actually told me it was wrong. And it was one of my friends. We were just hanging out one day and I was like, okay, let me go grab my tennis shoes. And they just stopped and they were like, what did you just say? And they just started laughing at me and they're like, Courtney, no. It is not pronounced tennis shoe, it is tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. I'm really wondering how in my life I didn't like write a paper at one point saying tennis shoe and just no one corrected me. I don't know how I made it that far. That's like 18 years of being taught something and it just being completely wrong. That was the biggest mind fuck I think I've ever experienced in my entire life was realizing that tennis shoes isn't tinny shoes, it's actually tennis, not tinny. It was terrible. And it led to a lot of embarrassment and a lot of being made fun of. So thanks mom and dad. All right, and the next reason why I was a fucked up kid and I have extreme trust issues is because for an entire month, my mom convinced me that my first name was my middle name and my middle name was actually my first name. You heard me correctly, my own mother who birthed me and named me lied and said that my name was actually not my name. If you didn't already know this, my name is Courtney Nicole LaHue. And my mom told me that my first name, Courtney, was actually my middle name and Nicole was my first name. And she had this going for an entire month. And you might be thinking, Courtney, how gullible could you be to think that your middle name would be your first name, your first name is your middle name? Evidently very gullible. But to support the fact that I'm not completely an idiot, I've never seen my birth certificate in my entire life. My name could be Ivanka Trump for who the hell knows. I, I wouldn't know, I, I don't know. So the thought of my name actually not being my name, it didn't, see that, it didn't seem that crazy to me. So for an entire month, I was like, I have to completely change my life around. Like I'm not Courtney, I am Nicole. What do I do? I have so many friends. <laughs> I mean, at that time I had so many friends and I was so just distraught over this information. And for her to come up to me like a month later being like, oh no, your name's actually Courtney. Like, it's not Nicole. Why? And yeah, so that's the story about the time that my mom convinced me that my name was actually Nicole when it wasn't. So yeah, those are some of the stories of why I was a fucked up kid and it definitely went into my young adult life. I have tons of other stories if you wanna hear them. Definitely a lot of things have happened to me as a child. So yeah, if you wanna hear more stories <laughs> about how my parents tormented me as a child. So if you wanna hear more of those stories, don't forget to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more amazing videos from yours truly. But as always, I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing remainder of your week and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys!